Hey, what's up guys? I'm Normani and I am gonna walk you through my skincare routine and my elevated everyday beauty look. This is my favorite cleanser by Is Clinical. I really do have combination skin. I have struggled with acne for like the last 10 years and it really has been a journey. Between using these medical grade products that you can get over the counter, I also use Tazerat, but my dermatologist just put me on. And it's been a game changer. Protect the edges at all costs. I'm gonna put on a hydrating mask. Ooh, this is slippery. I'm definitely the girl on the plane with the, with the acne stickers. I've definitely wore pimple cream in the airport, okay? I'm talking public. I don't care. I'm comfort over everything. I always like to go over my mask with my roller. So when I was little, my mom actually was like, always go in an upward motion. I really love being able to spend time with myself doing my skincare. Because if you really think about it, like how many moments throughout the day do I have to myself? My skincare routine and also my hair are really important moments for me and intimate moments that I share with myself. Ooh, I know you see that glow. I'm going to apply my Pro Heal Serum. This really helps brighten any dark hyperpigmentation that I might have, especially with darker skin. It's okay, queens. The imperfections make us interesting. This, it gives you the glow that you want. This is really what does it. I'm gonna go in with my period moisturizer. I absolutely break out more when I sweat. I do Pilates a lot. It's really important to wash your face immediately after because what happens is you sweat, your pores are open, and that dirt, and bacteria is seeping and soaking into your skin. Most important, sunscreen. I've always worn sunscreen. My mom and my dad used to take me to like Six Flags, Slitterbahn. We were really big on water parks and parks in general, so I was always outside pretty much every single summer. Like we did parks. We were the family that did parks. We had season passes. So I had to be in sunscreen. I'm gonna do these eye drops. Now that my skincare is popping and skin is ready and prepped, I'm gonna get into the look. So I'm gonna start off by brushing my eyebrows. I get my brows laminated. It pretty much stretches the hair. I like to use my Anastasia brown pencil because it gives natural strokes. My brows are probably my favorite feature. My brows remind me of my dad, of my daddy. Like when I look in the mirror, I see my dad. I love having a piece of him. I'm going to go in my soap brow. Oh, y'all, I'm putting this on my resume. Uh-uh, I'm, I'm that one that's like, oh my God, I could totally do my makeup for a carpet after doing my makeup a few times. We're gonna take just the end of a brush and then just press in the product. I'm gonna go in with my Color Correct. Always suffered with hyperpigmentation, so this is a step that's important for me. I also grew up watching my mom do her hair and makeup and I wanted to be just like her, so I think that that's where that fascination and love for makeup and hair come from. My mommy and my daddy are my everything. They're my purpose, my why, my family in general. You know, like those parents that think that there's one product that could cure everything? It was cocoa butter. My mom's was cocoa butter. She was like, that'll take all the dark marks away. I was also one of three black kids in elementary school so that was really hard for me like I remember just going home and being like mom can you press my hair like I wish my skin was lighter I wish I had colored eyes but my parents really 
encouraged me that my superpower was my my black girl melanin and my black girl magic. I definitely feel like because my parents instilled in me, you know, the things that make me unique and the fact that I don't have to look like everybody else, they really encouraged me. And I feel like I don't take it lightly at all. Like I always say that I'm a vessel, right? And so for any little black girl or little girls in general, that doesn't feel like supported. You know, often we're not supported. I have an obligation. Even to the younger version of myself, which is now the new generation, to encourage them and uplift them because they are going to be the future. Fenty translucent powder. My sister thing. I was the first brand ambassador for, for Savage X Fenty. What is life? If somebody told me five years ago that Ree would have been like, that's a bad bitch. Actually, she did tell me that. She was like, I don't know whether I love you or I hate you. That impacted me. <laughs> I love her so much. No, but honestly, what she's doing with the brand is everything that I aspire to do. It's like, why did it take this long for a brand to be as inclusive. Everybody should be able to feel a part of and feel like they have a place. Okay, so I'm gonna let this set and then I'm gonna move on to eyes. So what I'm gonna do is prime with foundation. I use my Dior right here. Do you see this color? Espresso. Unmatched. I'm gonna use my contour stick as my eyeshadow base. So what I'm doing is starting from the outer and working my way in so I can create more space and just create a more snatched look. I always use a brown liner when I'm doing my more natural look. Let me see, hold up. <laughs> I'm gonna revisit this side. Let's go on to the other side. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty powder. I'm gonna use the darkest one. I feel like I always try to give 90s actress vibes <laughs> when it comes to my makeup. Like I love Nia Long, even Toni Braxton. Just regal and brown and let it be about skin, light contour. I love a good 90s lip though. I'd be on my Mary J. Blige. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my YSL concealer. I typically go a few shades lighter just to create more dimension. So I'm gonna start off with the chicken leg. <laughs> Give me <some> Popeyes. <laughs> I like to put my concealer right under the wing because it kind of creates a snatched effect. And I'm just gonna go around my Lip line, because it makes my lipstick pop more. I always have my esthetician look through the ingredients on any makeup that I use since I'm so sensitive. It's always really hard to figure out and pinpoint exactly what I have a reaction to because all these products have so many different ingredients in them. So she definitely checks before I use it. I'm gonna go back in with my espresso and begin the contour. I'm gonna bring in a brush. I'm still gonna use my espresso. It just helps me control more. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and just clean up a little bit. The first Met Gala, I went with Valentino. Crazy, first Met and I went with Valentino. Like, what? I felt like Princess Tiana. First year it was giving regal, it was giving black queen vibes. You know, yellow is a black girl's color. Fight me on it. And then the second year, I felt like it was giving more mature. My stomach was out. I try to force a conversation with my clothing. I try to be as creative as 
it's possible and i think that that's what fashion is like music and fashion work hand in hand so this is another concealer same brand but i'm just gonna go here under my eye i went a couple shades lighter than what i used here because i want to brighten it's a cream blush there's such a misconception too especially with dark-skinned women I don't know why, but I felt like the conversation was like, no, that's too bright. Especially on deeper tone. Like, I love being able to play and like have a vibrant color. I get a lot of my beauty inspiration from Pinterest. Or honestly, even watching these videos. I'm telling y'all, I've been waiting for this moment right here. So next we're gonna get into foundation. I actually used two different shades by Dior. The lighter one I used because that's my actual color and then I use a darker one to warm me up but only use the foundation in the areas that you haven't contoured yet I feel like being a creative like even just musically it's inevitable for you not to be creative in other areas that's why I love fashion I love makeup I love hair I'm gonna set my foundation with a little bit of powder foundation. I'm gonna use both colors. I'm gonna go back in with this kind of rusty orange color to set the cream blush that I put in before. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my powder foundation just to go over the blush just a little bit to just let it marinate. My YSL mascara. I have lash extensions, so I'm just gonna go in on the bottom. I'm gonna go back in with the Fenty palette and just put these two colors in my tear duct. I like to mix them. So I remember when I was younger, my mom would do my makeup for all my dance competitions, all my pageants, all my gymnastic meets. Baby girl, she, there was nothing that she couldn't do between her and my grandmother, okay? My grandma was on on the sewing machine, doing her thing, making all my pageant dresses. I've always been really, really shy and an introvert. And so when I was little between dance and gymnastics, that was really my way of being able to express myself. You know, like that was my best language. I feel like if you wanted to get me at the core, like that was really the best way in getting to know me. God has such a sense of humor because I was always so afraid out of everything that I did, pageants, acting, like whatever, everything. I was always so scared to sing. And people would always come over, sing for me, sing for me, sing the Alicia Keys song. I love Alicia Keys. I used to rock the braids. She was my, that was my girl. I was always so afraid to sing. And it's crazy that I do it as an occupation now. That's one request that I always make. I'm like, if you cover my beauty mark, please bring it back out. Just so like cute and thin. And then also you don't have to worry about the blemishes. It's, it's my word against yours. This is a beauty mark. So we're gonna get into the lips. This is what really completes a look for me. I love 90s everything and I love to overline. I'm gonna be using Raquel Beauty. And I like to mix them to create like an ombre effect. As my grandma would say, oh, sicky sicky now. This is Raquel Beauty. Get into it, yeah. So I'm gonna go in with the matte lip which is a little bit peachier. I'm just gonna go in in the center. I like to stick with the matte because I feel like that's really true to the 90s. And then also, depending on what I have, like if I'm dancing, if I'm on stage performing, I don't want a glossy lip with my hair getting stuck. It's just annoying. This is one of my favorite lip oils by Dior. You can't go wrong in any shade. And I'm gonna use it on my eye. I'm gonna go with this brown. I really love this gloss on the lid because it creates a really dewy summer vibe. So I'm gonna go in with that glow. I 
I feel cute. Mm -mm. I'm about to go find some nice hot sun. I'll see y'all later.